in pure mathematics, a theorem begins with premises. The premises should be rooted ultimately, if you have to, in whatever the axioms are of the field you're working in. Maybe they go back to the axioms of set theory. Who knows? And then you go through uh, a sequence of logically valid mathematical arguments that culminate in some conclusion. That's a math proof. And once you've proved it, as long as you have premises that are good, correct premises and your logic was valid, you have a sound proof. You have a sound deductive argument and you're done. And if anyone wants to claim there's something wrong, they're going to have to either challenge your premises or challenge your reasoning. And if they're both good, then you're just, you're just good. So Euclid proves the inf infinitude of the prime numbers. That's a great example. You begin with certain premises about how the natural numbers work. And then you have this logical argument that leads to the conjecture that there cannot be a biggest prime number. As long as you're willing to take on the axioms, the standard axioms that we use for arithmetic.